And now sports with Chris Dewar from the Little Jess Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram Sports Desk. She authored state championships in 2000 and 2004 and a state runner-up finish back in 1998. Those are Hall of Fame credentials by any standard you want to choose. And today, the great Angie Reese was among four Northeast Missouri products elected for enshr enshrinement in the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame Class of 2024. She will join such luminaries as Chase Daniel, Tom Henke, and Ben Askren. Now, the longtime North Shelby skipper won 340 games in her legendary career. Career, and those three state trophies also headed to the hall in Springfield is Highland basketball legend Greg Logsdon, largely for his role as a sports organizer with both the Missouri Stealth softball and Missouri Phenom basketball programs. And on the football side, former hey, South Shelby superstars down. Ethan Harris and Aaron O'Laughlin will enter the hall as part of what is called the Elite 11. And as a team, the Palmyra girls squads from 1981 to 1986 are being so honored as well. In Enshrinement for all of these awards is set for October the 20th. All right, because Angie Reese would have liked it that way, let's do some softball now. Canton playing host to a Bowling Green team that is 0-4 right now and hitting just 140 overall. Chase Allmeyer trying to exacerbate that slump with this great throw from behind the dish to gun the would-be base stealer. Top of the third, though, Bowling Green gets it going. Carly Dean hits a rocket deep to left field. That's going to plate a run at this point. And you know what? Bowling Green is not done in the top top of the third. Later, it's Reagan Jennings, nifty piece of hitting for her as well. That would extend BG's lead out to three to nothing, but that would be about it for offense for the Bobcats and eight unanswered runs coming right now from Canton. It starts with Kylan Ott helping to load the bases for Macy Glasgow, who's going to do what she does. Man, does she swing a great bat. She nearly clears the bases, brings home two again, part of an eight run uprise as Canton gets the win. Eight to three is your final. Other softball today, Louise Indiana with a no hitter over three innings, but still a no hitter for Reese Womack today against Wellsville on the road. So she'll be a nice win over Ellsbury five to three again on the road. And the Paris Coyotes are still undefeated now five and zero oh on the season. Let's do some volleyball. Quincy Notre Dame playing host to an upstart Rushville industry team that's been very good in the early fall. We'll pick it up in set number one. QD leading and Nora Wiley trying to make it stand up with a nifty hit right there. The QD fans flipping out. That young man is a graceful acrobat. Here we go, though. Rushville Industry flight, fighting right back. Charlie Gurleman ain't afraid. She's going to come up big time at the net and get the kill right there. Point to Rushville Industry. Madeline Boyer, though, serving up an ace for Q&D. And then we have this weird exchange at the net where the smallest person on the court at this particular time, your setter, Annie Eaton, is going to throw down with some dominance right there to emphatically end the point. Italy Ford serving back the other way for Rushville Industry is going to get the ace, but the first set would go to Quincy Notre Dame in this one, 25-21, and Nora Wiley and Eva Breckenkamp going to clean up nicely in set number two as that's a blowout, 25-9. QD with the sweep today over visiting Rushville Industry. Also, McComb stays undefeated with a 9-0 win over Monmouth Roseville on the road. Big day for the setter, Quinn Rex wrote, who had 20 assists, five kills, and two aces on the day. Illini West goes on the road and gets a big win at Western. Abby White serving up goodness all over the place. I Dub wins 25-17, 25-23. Let's do some Hannibal Volleyball at home tonight against overmatched Holt. And man, did the Lady Pirates look good from start to finish in this one. It started with some great service action. Abby Martin coming up right here with the first of back-to-back -back aces, and that really kind of set the tone for her squad as serve-receive was not a strength of Holt. Your next server in the rotation, Amelia Bates, will show you both of her aces. They were not back-to-back, -back, but she did serve up two right here as Hannibal kind of gets things going, and they're never going to stop. This time, it's Malia Stolte serving, and Allie Falconer is going to rise up just above the net and kind of get the little redirect here to put the Pirates up 12-5. to five. That was probably as close as this thing would get. How about Lydia Dorsey? I haven't talked enough about her yet. Beautiful swing right here between the wickets of two different defenders. It was all Hannibal all the time in this match as the Lady Pirates roll in three straight sets tonight to beat Visiting Holt. Yeah, Hannibal is pretty good. Coming off a big win over Payson last night as well. So the Lady Pirates getting the job done. We've got some golf to talk about today at Golds Hills. Quincy Notre Dame, who else? Doing wonders. It's the freshman Natalie Druffel leading the way with a 38 today. Meredith Eversman two strokes back with a 40 on the day at the Paris Invite. 
Second place goes to the Centralia gir girls. Fourth place goes to the Canton girls. It was really all the information and results we had from that. So that's all I can basically tell you there. On the boys' side today, up at Carthage, Illini West, another big win and another different medalist. This time it was Wesley Robertson firing her 37 to lead his team to victory. Let's pass along some soccer today and some volleyball. John Wood, a winner at home in volleyball over Central College. Quincy University men's uh, so soccer with a big upset today over visiting Purdue Northwest. Carter Venverlo with a goal in that one and Culver Stockton tonight ends up with a win in women's soccer over Missouri Baptist and I need to report a hole in one today from Westview Ed Holthouse on hole number four from 90, 91 yards today with a pitching wedge I know Matt Longo was among the people who played witness to that hey Matt Longo get to work buddy and again, congratulations to Ed on the ace. And coming up tomorrow, all kinds of fun, including junior high state golf coming your way right here at 6 o'clock. Hi, we'll see you then.